All right, Lauren, thank you. Well, here, Fox 4, we are working hard to get into every community that is dealing with hurricane damage so we can see what people need. Right, and right now, Fox 4's Keenan Scott is live in North Fort Myers in the Suncoast Estates area where one nonprofit organization called Better Together is helping families. Keenan, what can you tell us? Yeah, guys, good morning. We are joining you from Suncoast Baptist Church, where we are getting the latest on those stories of recovery in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. I'm actually told that the secretary of the Department of Children and Families is actually going to be making her way to this church in a little bit uh, in a little while here. But here to tell me more about what's happening here this morning is Pastor Dale. Good morning, Pastor. Nice to, nice to see you today. So nice what can to you tell me about what's happening out here today? Well, I tell you, this is a tremendous effort that uh, we found out about, and they needed a place to stage uh, their event here. And so we said that we were available because they wanted to reach Suncoast Estates. And uh, they uh, brought all of their resources and everything to bear here. They said there would be about 200 people. I think it's more about 300 plus. And it's just uh, tremendous the way they're going door to door, house to house and seeing what people need and, and giving those items to those people. And you know, Hurricane Ian has been just a tremendous impact on everyone here in Southwest Florida. Tell me about what you've been seeing in the last few days, you know, in the aftermath of the storm. Well, I tell you, we, we had gone through Irma and uh, that was pretty tough. And we kind of had an idea the storm was gonna come our way, but we didn't really realize how strong it was going to be. And we had a lot of damage out here in Suncoast. So uh, we finally have electric, thank God for that. But uh, there for a while it was really rough, but we have a lot of good people. My neighbor came over to me and he was helping with his grandchildren pick up my limbs. And he says, I'm from the Midwest and that's what we do. We take care of our neighbors. And that's what's happening here. People taking care of people and uh, kind of following uh, Jesus' teaching to love one another and to care for one another. And I, I just can't say enough about it, it's tremendous. And so for the people maybe watching at home right now that maybe they're watching and saying, I want to I want to help. What's the best way they can do that? Well, I tell you what, in this community here, they can contact us here at the church and uh, uh, we'll direct them to where they need to go. We have the community center also here in Suncoast who is doing a great uh, work over 25,000 meals. They have passed out over at the center over there. And so I would say get in contact with the center over there or get in contact with our church. And I asked this, you know, earlier in the hour um, to the CEO, but what's the thing that people need the most right now as far as supplies go? Well, we have a, we have a lot of, of children and they need diapers and they need clothing and those kinds of things. Uh, so uh, the food too as well, just a gamut of everything. And this organization here uh, that uh, has, has come our way has actually everything that everybody would need. I saw strollers over there, they have beds. Uh, uh, generators, they had generators as well. And so uh, they're uh, meeting a, a tremendous need and making a, a bad thing much, much better. Mm -hmm. All right, Pastor, anything else you need to say just to the people at home? Well, I just keep your praying up and just keep your focus on God. He's the God of hope. And as long as we're in him and trusting him, we have hope in Jesus Christ. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, God bless you. And you can keep it to Fox 4 for our continuing coverage of the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, both online and our website, fox4now.com. But for now, live in Suncoast, Keaton Scott, Fox 4.